So, can you repair your broken weapons in Dying Light? Well, yes you can. In fact, you can refurbish your entire stash of melee weapons in one go. Now, if you're a Dying Light veteran, then you know where this is going. But if you're new to the game or simply wasn't aware that it was possible, then I'm going to show you how it's done. There are some amazing weapons in Dying Light that not only look great, but can be upgraded to become really powerful too. Now, that's especially true if you've got any gold rarity weapons to use as a base, as they have more mod sockets and they're more durable and can be repaired more times than a regular weapon. However, they will still break eventually, and nobody wants to sell or scrap their favourite machete, especially when gold weapons are pretty rare. In fact, it would be a real waste, and what you should do is keep your broken weapons in your stash and just look out for a certain random encounter to appear on your minimap. Random encounters are signified on the minimap by these little blue alert markers that appear from time to time. Now they can be something as simple as a character, you know, just telling you his story, or a pop-up shop, to a full-on battle to save some survivors. But there's one in particular that you're going to want to pay attention to, and they appear as a blue shield marker on the map. If you see one of these, then check the location and then run to the nearest stash and grab all of those broken weapons. Make sure you fill your inventory with as many broken weapons as possible, or if you have any weapons that are down to one or two repairs, you can refurbish those as well. Uh, make sure you leave space for at least one good weapon though, as this task will involve fighting either zombies or humans, depending on where the mission spawns. When you get to the location, you'll find a guy that needs protecting while he runs from A to B, so it's basically just a protect mission, much like the white shields on the map, uh, but this one's got a much better reward than just cash at the end of it. Once you select Help Survivor, he does get up and run away pretty fast, so you need to be quick and try not to lose him, otherwise the mission is going to fail and you potentially won't see one of these again for quite a while. So yeah, you need to take advantage of this opportunity and try not to die either, because again, the same thing will happen. Basically, you just have to kill all the zombies in his path and make sure you save him when he gets grabbed. Uh, he will hand back, it seems, if there's any human encounters and you've got to go ahead and kill them all before he'll, you know, come out of hiding. <laughs> the wimp. But soon enough, when you get to your destination, he will turn around and then offer you the reward. Now, be careful here, because when you select reward, you're going to get this option menu, but don't claim the resources he's offering just yet. It's very important, as if you do, he'll just run inside the building afterwards, slam the door in your face, and you'd have missed the chance to repair your weapons. What you need to do is select the refurbish option at the top of the screen here, and then select which weapon to refurbish, and you'll see a tick next to it, and then accept. The weapon will disappear from the list and go back into your inventory, and then you just have to repeat the process for each weapon. The only caveat with this feature is that if you have more than one weapon that has the same name, it will only let you refurbish one of them, so you'd have to do the next one on your next shield encounter. Barring that, then you can refurbish as many melee weapons as you can fit into your inventory, and once you've cleared your list of broken weapons, you can now go back and then take the resources, which does then end the mission. Despite being random encounters, there are a number of set locations in the slums and in the Old Town where Blue Shield missions spawn. From what I understand though, these types of encounters only happen after completing the Pit mission in the main campaign, so unfortunately, you won't be able to take advantage of this perk until after that point in the story, I'm afraid. There are twice as many spawn points in the slums than there are in the Old Town, so technically that's going to be where you're more likely to find a Blue Shield mission, but how often you're going to come across one is not an exact science, it seems. I did find several theories online about how to trigger a Blue Shield mission. Uh, one said you have to be carrying a broken weapon whilst running around. Uh, another said Thief into Night and Back to Day uh, five or six times will reset it. And another one said quitting the game and restarting will do the same thing. Now, I tried all of these things and they just don't work unfortunately, so these random encounters really are just that, and all you can do is simply be on the lookout for a Blue Shield mission, and then when it happens, go and grab your weapons before you go after it. And that's about it really, uh, now you'll never have to worry about damaging your favourite weapons again. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!